Hey guys, Scott here. Buddy also here. Uh, today I wanted to talk about a competitive mode in DPD. This is something, I don't know how I've not made a video about this uh, because people talk about this all the time. Um, but yeah, I want to talk about why I think it would just simply not be a good idea. Um, and I, I want to say I'm viewing this video as a realist. I tend to look at behavior as they are, not as they could be. Because, I mean, you can make anything sound good if you just talk about, oh, well, they could do this. They could have Michael Jordan sponsor the tournaments. Like, you can just make anything sound awesome if you just say what, you know, what if. But we have to look at what behavior is done and what they probably would do. And uh, knowing them, I don't think a competitive mode in this game would be very good. I can pretty much end the video right after just saying my initial point, which is nobody will play it. It would just be a waste of time and resources. There's no real incentive to playing a mode that you know, makes you play in the most boring way possible. Um, there would be a very, very tiny, tiny portion of players that would actually play this mode. And I say, oh, there's no incentive, but what if they did have an incentive or something like that? You know, they would just have like a charm or something like it's not going to be anything worthwhile or like seven or excels for being in a very high bracket or something like that. You're not going to have a reward be worth the slog of going through what is the sweatiest gameplay this game can afford because the sweatiest gameplay this game has is extremely boring and I'll go over that a bit later um, but that is an important part of why people also suggest a competitive mode they think okay well you know the Swests will actually have a reason to go somewhere or they'll have like you know a, a different area to play rather than just you know ruining all these like regular lobbies and stuff like that there's also people that think that okay well if we have a competitive mode um, they can you know do balancing tweaks to that mode right they can make it so, okay, since it's going to be all four mans, they can make it so gens do take longer, and that would only affect this core section of the game, right? Or, you know, whatever, hooks don't last as long. It just, you know, they could balance that form of the game as well. People that are suggesting that, I have to ask if you're fucking insane if you think behavior is going to balance two games at the same time when they don't balance one game <laughs> at the same time. Like, there is no chance of them actually balancing two games at once. That will never, ever happen. So that is an incredibly unrealistic thing to think of. And even if they did, you think they would nail it like on both sides? There's just zero chance of that being a thing. So I've never thought that suggestion was anything uh, even worth considering. But let's go over like one of the uh, the main uh, parts. It's that people that ask for a competitive mode are basically... I, I don't even know what group of players asks for a competitive mode. Because the actual competitive players that play in tournaments in this game, they already have their own competitive mode. They go on Discord and they have matches with other teams because that's the only way they're ever going to actually get better, right? So they already have their own competitive mode. They have their own rules and kill your friends. They set up exactly what they want. The competitive mode to them already exists. So they're not really clamoring for another competitive mode. I'm sure they wouldn't mind it. I'm sure they would think it's cool and stuff like that. But they sort of already have that in the game. Now... You might go, uh, well, you know, I, I just, I want the actual, like, sweat squads. I want the super sweaty four-man sweat squads to just go have their own competitive mode so they stop ruining, like, our just regular games, stuff like that. And that's really an important point I want to talk about in this video, too. Um, because I think people are overestimating how sweaty some teams are. And I can assure you the four-man that's body blocking and they have flashlights and they're saboing hooks and stuff like that. They're not going to competitive mode. They're going to stay right with you in the casual mode. Those teams and stuff like that, they're not going anywhere. Um, the whole point of a competitive mode is to play as efficiently as possible. And the most efficient way you can play this game is by minimizing the interactions with the other side as much as you possibly can. That is why most people find competitive Dead by Daylight so hilariously boring. Because every time it boils down to survivors splitting up in a perfect triangle, killers downing one person, proxy camping them till they die, possibly getting one or, one or two other hooks, and then they might get a one or two K with seven or eight hooks. That's pretty much how most matches go. I analyzed actually a bunch of tournaments, and that's pretty much how it goes. It's an average of like 2.12 or 2.21 kills, and an average of like eight and a half hook states. That's how most matches go, and they're played out in sort of the exact same way. Um, and... That's actually sweat. When you think you're going against the sweat squad and it's like a four man and they're all clearly talking to each other and they're trying to bully you and body block hooks and sabo hooks and things like that and try to get blinds on you and stuff, that's not a sweat squad. I promise you that's not actually a sweat squad. That's just a group of players that are just having fun or trying to annoy you or whatever. They're not looking to sweat. They're not going to go to that competitive mode. So that won't go away at all. In fact, they'll be even more incentivized to stay in the regular mode so they can keep doing what they're doing. 
So that won't fix that issue whatsoever. So who's going to go to that actual mode? It's just going to be the people that already play comp that you don't see anyway because they're doing kill your friends. So like even if you think it will affect you, it's probably not going to affect you whatsoever. There's just no possible benefit to having a mode like that in the actual game. It just seems like a giant waste of time and resources because no one is actually going to play it. People realize that the most boring form of this game is the most optimal sweaty. Like, if you've actually gone against the comp team before, even I've only gone uh, against the actual full comp team like three times in my entire life. And you, you can just tell. it's They try to play the game as boring as humanly possible. And I fundamentally uh, believe if there's no incentive to do so, people won't subject themselves to that. There's just no reason to. There's no reward. There's just You don't get anything for it. And, you know, th these are the types of teams where it's not like they're going to try to, like, you know, body block hooks and bully you and stuff like that. These teams, they spread out immediately as soon as the game starts in a perfect triangle equidistant from each other. As soon as you begin to approach another player from, like, half of the map away, everyone's calling out that you're going there, and that player will start running so early to the point that it makes no sense to even physically go there unless you're, like, Blight, who can get there very fast. Um, because, because that's the safest way to play. If you're trying to win, that's the smartest thing you can do. Um, so that's how those teams actually play. And nobody wants to play like that. It's just boring for everybody. But sometimes they push through it because they want to win whatever the reward is for an actual tournament. There's a lot of Chili's gift cards to go around and that's pretty, pretty crazy. So if there's no incentive, then people are just not going to want to play like that at all. And that's pretty much how a competitive match would actually go in this game. So that's why I think it's a bad idea. I think it would be a giant waste of time and resources. And even if you say, oh, well, it wouldn't affect the regular player base. It wouldn't, you know, since there'd be so few people, the queue times wouldn't be moved or anything like that. And that's true. There wouldn't be a negative effect of the actual player base. Um, but it would also be a giant waste of time because no one's going to play in the competitive mode. It just is pointless. Um, the few uh, super, super sweaty players like... You know how many people are, like, playing right now that are already playing sweaty and they're miserable that they have to do it because of MMR? You know how much worse that would be in an actual competitive mode? Like, people are already miserable. Why would you want to compound that with even more with still no rewards for doing so? Like, it, people are already doing that without with MMR. You can't even see your MMR. You don't know what it is. There's no... You don't get anything. There's no tangible reward, and people are already still playing super sweaty, and they're miserable with their experience. So you think they're going to subject themselves to an even more miserable experience while getting the same level of... It, just, it makes no sense. So that's why I think adding a competitive mode to this game is pointless. Nobody will play it, and uh, those that would be interested in it are already having their own competitive mode with private kill your friend scrims and stuff like that, because that's the only way they're ever going to really improve, and that they know that. Um, so it just seems like it'd be a giant, giant waste of time. Yeah, it probably wouldn't have any negative effects, but... As we know, it takes them a year. No, it takes them four years to make a trap or go from one trap to like two traps. So it would take them like seven lifetimes to incorporate a competitive mode and it would just be a complete waste of resources. So that's why I think it's not a good idea. Uh, just viewing it as simple as that. It would be a giant waste of resources because not enough people will play. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.